Okay guys, um, in my spare time I'm trying to learn to make Unreal Tournament maps and I'm an absolute total beginner, never done anything like that before, never done any 3D modelling, nothing, okay, just use Photoshop a bit. So it's been really difficult trying to just get to grips with some of the really basic stuff, so I thought I'd make some tutorials for people who are complete beginners like me, showing the stuff that I've learned in a simple way that beginners like me can understand um, and I'll keep adding tutorials as I learn more and more stuff right so let's start with actually the one thing that really confused me okay when you look at all the help files you're seeing people use an editor and it turns out there are two different editors okay you Download the core thing, this Epic Games Launcher, and once this is downloaded, it then downloads the engine, the latest engine. Now, you go here to Unreal Engine, okay, and here is the current engine, Unreal, that I'm using, Unreal Engine Preview. If I drop this list down, I can choose the previous engine, which was installed before, 4.76. Okay, I'm currently using this engine, Un Unreal Engine Preview, which is 4.80, all right? Now, if you come here to Unreal Engine and launch from here, you are launching the Unreal Engine Editor, which is a general purpose Unreal Editor based on the Unreal Engine, which allows all sorts of different game creators to build all sorts of different game types. Okay, And you can even use it for making architectural 3D models. Um, you can use it to make weapons. You can use it to make... Um, all sorts of things as well as driving games platform games as I understand it it's a general purpose editor that any game builder or architect can use right but it doesn't have any unreal tournament content no weapons no health no ammo no shield stuff no um, jump pads nothing like that if you come here to unreal tournament play here is where you launch the actual game, where it says launch. That launches the actual game to play the game on the few maps that are available currently. But if you go to create and click this launch here, that launches the Unreal Tournament editor, which is different to the launch Unreal Engine editor. Right? So Unreal Tournament, create, launch. This launches the Unreal Tournament editor for building Unreal Tournament maps. And it's got all the weapons, the health, and all the other stuff. Right? Okay. Um, if you do the drop-down list here, this is well, you know, if if you haven't got the the latest um, the the Unreal editor installed, this this is where you'll be prompted. You can choose here to install it. I've got it installed now, so I can uninstall or I can verify it. I go, but we go here and we launch the Unreal Tournament editor to build Unreal Tournament maps. Boom. That was the first thing that really confused me because I kept loading up the Unreal Engine editor and there was nothing in it to to all I could do was build walls and floors and things like that there was no weapons there was no shield there was no health stuff there was nothing you know you have to use this editor and this is the unreal editor the unreal tournament editor okay for building unreal tournament maps okay now this is how it kind of opens up we we'll do this bit of housekeeping first right we take this world outliner tear that tab off bring it over here and just pop it there and it becomes a second tab here like that okay then the same with the details tear that tab off bring it over here stick it up there boom now we've got three tabs here modes world outliner details okay now this content browser here just tear that off and reposition it at the bottom of this column it's a bit sticky on the mac i'm using a mac there it is oops damn it one. okay so this is all your content and you want to have this set like that click that thing so that it opens up this browser thing here these folders can be made smaller with the view options scale right whatever you want for the items right there's a little thumbnail for them okay we'll get to that so you want it laid out like that. that's the best way to have it Okay, and, I, and the stuff I've learned, I've, I've learned it all from watching this one tutorial this epic guy did called Rauschberg, I think that was his name, 
I've analysed it because he goes through pretty quick as if you, you he assumes you know what you're, you're doing kind of thing. I, and I'm breaking this down for beginners. But this is the best way to have it laid out. So you've got all your stuff over here. And then you have this one edit window here. Now what you do is you go to this thing here, click that little arrow, and you choose, uh, where are we? Layouts, and make it four panes. Now this pane here wants to be side view. This pane here, front view. This pane here, top view. This is how it should be by default, but just to check. Top view, and this view here, perspective. Okay, now this is where the 3D model will appear, the perspective view. This is where you're looking down at the map from the top. This is where you're looking at the map from the side on with the floor here and the walls going up from there, uh, from the front, sorry. And this is where you're looking at it from the side, but the same thing, floor, walls going up from there, okay. Now when you've got it set like that, uh, how do you do this again? Um, window, save layout. And it just saves it, there's no prompting. Right, now it'll open up like this every time. Okay. So, uh, let's get started um, with something really basic. Um, I'll stop the video here and we'll move on and, and to another one. Okay. Just, that's getting it all set up. 